Hello, this is Desiree Dubonnet, Professor of Medicine at the International Medical University. And today's, today's topic is coffee. Really hot coffee can create problems, but coffee with a meal makes it even worse. Hot coffee with a meal can create pancreas cancer and other different things. Now, coffee itself is, has lots of benefits to it. There's lots of good things that coffee does. This is a natural compound. It has many benefits to our health, as long as we are not overdosing, using it wisely, etc. In fact, coffee is one of the very few natural things that can get you out of an antiphylactic asthma shock. So it's very good, and butter in the coffee, that's another thing that helps. But we also have to realize there are good and bad things about coffee. But coffee can have negative effects on your nerves, a whole bunch of other things, kidneys, there's a lot of negative effects, especially if you use too much coffee, or if you're using coffee at meals, because coffee at meals will cause pancreas cancer. Let's learn more. If the coffee is too hot, it can create celiac disease. We need to have stomach acid for the stomach to work properly. We need stomach acid, and stomach acid is strong enough to dissolve stainless steel, so we, we, it, it's a function, but then the pancreas and the liver will combine to help neutralize that acid. This needs sodium bicarb. This is very, very important that the sodium bicarb be released by the pancreas in order to do its job, to neutralize the acid. So sodium bicarb is a part of our lives. <laughs> yes, it's the same thing as in baking soda. And basically we have to recognize that when we drink coffee, Coffee stimulates the release of sodium bicarb. This will make the pancreas release that sodium bicarb. And if you have if you have coffee during the meal, it's going to then make the pancreas release the sodium bicarb twice. That's going to be a problem. We don't want to have to release that twice. We then will are supposed to reabsorb that bicarbonate in the kidney and in the intestine, you see. And reabsorption of this takes time. It takes about three, four hours. That's why we should have, uh, we should wait between meals. And if you have coffee during the meal, coffee with a meal will cause the pancreas to release the sodium bicarb twice, once with the meal and then after. This irritates the pancreas. And this is the cause of most pancreas cancer making that pancreas irritated. So we have to recognize that it's very important because studies have shown coffee and pancreas cancer. But this is because coffee during the meal causes this pancreas cancer. So we have to recognize it's not coffee alone. Coffee has some very, very nice things. But if you have coffee during a meal, then you will render the pancreas useless. It won't be able to function. It will be irritated. So we have to be able to stop this. If we have the coffee an hour and a half after the meal, then the coffee will act as a digestive aid, stimulating the sodium bicarb at the appropriate time. Just wait a bit. First thing in the morning, don't have coffee. Apple cider vinegar, sodium bicarb, virgin olive oil. These are the things that you might want to start your day off. And if you want something to drink, a little bit of something to drink with a meal, here are three healthy teas, the star anise, artichoke, celery. These type of teas are very helpful to be able to clean and help the pancreas. Now, when we breathe, there's a carbonic acid cycle that uses this bicarbonate. This also helps to neutralize the acid in our, in our system. The kidneys are there to design to help to balance the acid-base relationship in the body. So it's very important. People have used baking soda for many, many years because we get sometimes bicarb deficient, especially having coffee with meals. When we are bicarb deficient, we need some bicarb. And bicarb has been shown for cancer treatment, all different other things. In fact, traditional medicine will use sodium bicarb as an injection that will help in cardiac arrest to get you out of that acid state. So we recognize that getting bicarb up 
But bicarb is not so magic. Don't get too crazy with it. But a little dose now and then can help you. Can help you to, to fend off many different diseases. So, here's the basic rules of the stomach. Let's learn how to obey the rules of the stomach. Let's learn about all the different things that foods eaten and made with love are nutrition. Foods made or eaten with anger are poison. Let's recognize these things. And let's recognize that we want more alkaline foods and less of the acid. Well, coffee has its place in natural medicine. It can help in many, many different ways. But recognize too hot or using it with meals can create cancer problems.